We got stuff. How ex that's so exciting. I love stuff. Ugh. Fuck Christ, dude. Can you guys hear me through this mic? Sadly, we can. Fuck you. Anyways, I bought a fuck ton of slushies and we're gonna try them all and decide which one is the best flavor. Now, it's occurred to me just now that I accidentally also bought a plush, plush, plush Slurpee that I thought was a real one. Here, catch it. You fucking missed. So, uh, I actually don't know what flavors there are. We're gonna discover that together. I think at the end we'll mix them all together and make the God slushy of our dreams. So, uh, we've got from left to right, we have crushed cream soda. We have, we have cock. Co sorry, I mean cock. I mean cock. We have, I mean, I mean cock. Sorry, cock. The fuck? What is this? Can you guys read this for me? What does this say? Does that say lima? Is this a lima bean slushy? Oh, it's ligma. Nice. Yeah, now I remember ordering that. Uh, this one's like fucking Mountain Dew Voltage or some shit. We have pink grapefruit. And we have, we have Pepsi. Wait. I know what this is. This is a, this is a, this is a, it's the Slurpicino. This one's coffee. I'm gonna try first. It tastes like kidney failure. But in like a good way. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend the Slurpicino to people. I think we need to try the sour ones. So this is the, oh my God, it smells fucking horrible. This is the pink grapefruit. Now I am a, I'm a big fan of grapefruit. So if this doesn't taste good, I'm gonna be really disappointed. That is fucking awful. Is it though? I need to drink a lot at once. No, that's just not true. <coughs> Theory debunked. <coughs> Pink grapefruit. Uh, four out of 10. Not good at all. I just realized Pepsi and Coke are kind of the same thing. I think we saved the brothers for last and we bat, we bat them up against each other. I need some, I... Now this is cream soda, tried and true classic. I think it's the diet one though. So I don't really fuck with that. Yeah, it's just cream soda. It's very sweet. Wait, hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, the coffee flavor, the Slurpicino, is a slightly coffee flavored cream soda. That That is a groundbreaking discovery. There's no difference between the two. Disappointing, to say the least. We're gonna do Mountain Dew. It smells like Mountain Dew. Holy shit. Hold on. A little bit of guava. Papaya. Peach. The color gamboge. Yeah, it's like Mountain Dew Voltage. It's all right. I give it a seven out of 10. It's pretty good. Now, we gotta scooch these fuckers out of the way. This is what we came for. Age old question, which one is better? We have Pepsi on the right, we have Coke on the left. I'm gonna go with the Pepsi first and then try the Coke after. That's the classic Pepsi taste that we all know and maybe love, maybe don't love. It is an essence of wood chips that I don't love and slightly concerned about. Quick question, yes sir. Uh, we're accepting questions at this time. We're no longer taking questions. Uh, let's try the Coke. Oh my God. Oh my God. Now, let me just say, I went into this with a bias towards Pepsi. Um, that's what I've grown up on. It's what generations upon generations of my family have preferred. But batting them up against each other 50-50, I gotta say there's really no comparison between the two. The Coke, it just lathers itself up on your taste buds. Really just like the consistency of the ice. It's just beautiful. Ascending feeling of beauty and grace. 
it really is just an astonishing feat and um, proof of perseverance in the human race. With no hesitation, the best option out of all of these, and my highest recommendation, would just be your plain old classic Coke Slurpee. I'm gonna go get a glass, and we're gonna try and put all these together into one big god slushy. So I will be right back. Hi. I'm back. We can't hear you. Good thing my mic is muted. So I can say how much I hate chat. So I got a pitcher. We're gonna put all of it inside and uh, give it a go. I don't think this is gonna mix. Blender wouldn't be a bad idea. See, you're right, but I think you're neglecting the fact that I don't have a blender. I think it, we've kind of created a gem in its own. It, it's a variety drink. If you're like, oh, I'm feeling a little voltage, dip the straw all the way in there, that's voltage. You're like, oh, I could go for some Slurpicino right about now. Slurpicino, are you kidding me? Now it did mix a little bit. And I have to say, it tastes awful. Pretend that you, you hear a slide whistle playing right now. Don't love it. Not the best flavor. <laughs> Do you guys want to taste? I'll get you some. Hold on. I'll pour you a glass. It's not working out too well. Ah, there we go. Now we got some flow. Yeah, look at that. One sec, I'll clean it up for you guys. The secret ingredient to the drink is mono. All right, chat, it's time for your drink. Take a sip. Yummy, yummy. Isn't that good? It's pretty good. You're paying for my therapy? You don't need therapy. Just internalize all your issues and hide them away so you don't feel them until you have an existential crisis. And you're like, holy shit, I haven't dealt with any of this. And then you're like, I should probably deal with it. So then you spend your life savings on a car. That's what I'd do. That's my life plan. Because not only do you not have to deal with the emotional baggage, you also get a cool new sports car. Think about it. Middle-aged men do it right.